Hey guys, so I'm here with exercise video number two, um, video number four for the series, uh, Four Weeks of Fitness. So if you haven't watched the other videos, please do and let me know what you think. Um, if you have watched, you know that this video is chest and triceps and I will just be showing you um, our warm up, our core exercises and our stretches at the end. I'm not gonna go through um, the entire workout for a half an hour. I'm just going to show you everything and hopefully help you to be able to do it on your own. Um, I just have some mats and a bench and the wall here to use. So really all you need is the floor. Um, but if you have more space, that's good. Um, so let's get going. Um, since my camera is kind of low, I'm going to do our warm up seated, but um, when we actually did it this week, we did it standing, so do it however you want. Uh, we started with arm circles, little arm circles going backwards. Um, you can also do forward, but uh, most people tend to have a forward position, um, a posture, and we want to work on getting that back. So anything going back to stretch that out will help. You can do small circles, then go to big circles, um, at least 10 of each. Then we did crossovers. I'm kind of limited with my space here, but you want to swing your arms at forward and back as far as you can, um, going further as you warm up. Um, then we touch the back of our hands together in front of us and overhead. So again, if you're standing, your feet, I mean your hands are going to be right in front of your legs. Um, and then we did inchworms. So inchworms, you are going to, you can keep your knees bent if you want. If you want more stretch in your legs, you can keep your knees straight. So you're going to walk your hands out on the floor. Keep your core nice and tight and don't let your back or bottom fall to the floor. So you're going to walk those hands out and walk them back to your feet. We did five to ten of those um, and we were pretty warmed up after that. So from there we started with push-ups. I'm going to show you quite a few modified versions um, from probably easiest to hardest. So the easiest ones would be on a wall. So you can use a wall space and position your hands outside your shoulders and try and bend your elbows down. Moving your head towards the wall. The further out your feet are, the harder it's going to be. Okay, you could then go to an elevated surface like a bench if the wall is too easy. You could go to the floor and go from your knees. Um, or you could go from your feet. Obviously from your feet on the floor is the hardest. Um, so we did 10 of those, and then from there we did what I like to call a tricep push-up because your hand grip is nice and close, and you're going to feel it more in the tricep than you do in the chest and shoulder muscles. So for that one, you're just going to bring your hands close together, and you can use any of the positions we just did. So a wall would be the easiest, your elevated surface would be the next, easy position, or you can go from the floor, from your knees, so your thumbs touch, and you can touch your fingers if you want, or you can have your fingers forward. Try to bend your elbows by your sides and not out to the sides. And my hair is hitting that bench. So that was our second one. Our third exercise was dips. So you can go from a small step stool or you can go um, from 
the floor, um, or a higher surface is a little harder. So I'm going to do this higher surface. You're going to put your legs out, and it's a little easier if you keep your knees bent. You're going to lower yourself as much as you're comfortable. Some people have a little more movement in their shoulders, some have less. Um, to make it harder, you can put your feet out. And if you want even more of a challenge, you can put a bench or a ball or a step under your feet, elevate your feet, and drop down. My ball is rolling away, <laughs> so that's pretty difficult. Um, last one is kind of a tricky movement. It's very small, so you might not feel like you're really doing it right, and it's kind of awkward. Um, but you can do it on the wall to start to get the hang of it. You want to be like a foot away from the wall. You're going to be using your arm that is furthest from the wall. You're going to put that hand on the wall at about chest height and get your other hand out of the way so you can hold your side or you can hold your arm. If you put your hand on the muscles that are going to be working, that kind of helps that um, mind muscle um, mind muscle connection there's the word I'm looking for <laughs> so activate those muscles lower yourself towards the wall and push away so I'm just bending from the elbow and a little from the shoulder um, from the floor it would look like this you can bend your knees if you want, or you can have your knees straight, however you're balanced. Um, this arm you're not using, so you can either leave it up like this, or you can hang onto that shoulder. You're gonna be pushing off your top arm. That's the one that's working. Your top arm is working. It's doing all the work. So put it down by your side, and you're gonna push up. Push up. So it helps if you roll your hips forward. Almost like you're going to roll onto your belly, okay? You don't want to be back like this. So roll your hips forward. You might need a cushion under your hip. Push. Okay, this is a side lying push-up. Really focusing on using these triceps back here, those wings that we all want to get rid of. Okay, so that was our last exercise. We had time to go through each of those for 10 repetitions, three times. Um, if you're just starting, then maybe do one or two sets, um, or you can do more if you are experienced with these. At the end, we did some stretches, such as the doorway stretch. So if you have a regular sized doorway, you can stretch both arms at the same time. If you don't, you can use a wall or something like this to put your arm up. And as you turn away, you're going to feel a nice stretch through your chest, your shoulder, and your arm. Again, if you were in a doorway, you'd be doing both. You're going to feel the stretch a little different if you go higher and lower. So you can hold for 30 seconds at a low position, mid position, high position. But these ones at the end, we are holding at least 30 seconds. That's that static stretch. We also did crossover. So the arm you're stretching, you're going to bring across your body with your palm up. You're going to use your other arm above your elbow to pull that arm in close to you. And you should feel a nice stretch all through your shoulder and your back. We then did an overhead stretch. So we're, we're stretching this arm, we're gonna bring it up. And to get that stretch in the back of our arm, we're gonna reach over with our other hand, grab that elbow and pull it back behind our head. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds. And relax. So there's lots of other stretches you can do. Feel free to do any stretches that make you feel the best after a workout. Um, 
that was our workout. Um, we did have some sore muscles. And um, next workout next week will be back and biceps, I believe. I think that's what we're going to do. So um, to leave you with something uh, that I hope helps you is um, so when you are doing your exercises or anything in life, oftentimes we compare ourselves to others and we are our own worst enemy, we're our own worst critic, and we are our own competition. So don't be an enemy to yourself and don't be a bad critic. Yes, you can constructively criticize yourself, but um, be your own competition whether it's fitness related or career related or just something you want in life, um, don't compare it to other people. Compare it to yourself and where you are um, because you are your best competition. Be the best version of you and always strive to be better. Um, like with our fitness challenges, oh yes, that reminds me, our fitness challenge, at the end we held, before we did our stretches, we held a plank. So we had a contest, a plank contest. So some people held from their knees. Um, to win the contest, you had to go from your feet. So you were going from your elbows and your feet with your back nice and flat, your abs strong. You don't want your butt and back to cave down. And you don't want them to be up here because that's super easy. So if you have it down here, it's going to put a lot of strain on your back. So think about getting nice and straight. You can almost think about rounding your shoulders a little bit. And that's the only time I'll tell you to round your shoulders. So our plank winner held her plank for two minutes. Awesome job, Amanda. She was our plank winner, so she will be getting her prize this week. Um, it was amazing, but um, going back to what I was saying, which tied into the challenges, is um, oftentimes, like even with our challenges, our winner obviously held the longest. They're the winner. The wall squat challenge, the plank challenge, our winner held the longest. But if someone else was still holding, then our winner could have held longer. So just because you're the last one standing doesn't mean you should quit. Because really, you should be trying to do better than where you're at or where you're um, goal is. So Amanda held two minutes. She can probably hold longer. So I challenge her to that and um, just anything in life. Don't stop just because you're ahead of everyone. Keep going. Be your best. Go for your best. Hopefully that's helpful. A little bit of a rant at the end. Um, but good luck with these. Comment below on your favorite, your least favorite and how you did on a plank. I want to see if anyone can hold longer than two minutes. I would love to see that. Have an awesome day, you guys.